Hi Aquarius, welcome to this reading. Okay, oh, your person saying, I'm so romantically attracted to you. I daydream about you, I fantasize about you because you are this queen of wands to me. You know, man or woman, the queen of wands is very attractive. Why? Because this is an energy of someone who is confident, um, and it radiates out of them and you know how when how someone's personality can affect how physically attractive they seem to you you know it's like you you're probably already physically attractive to your person but there is something about your energy here that just just like shoots up your level of attractiveness to them um, and they're seeing you as someone who is perhaps they get a sense or you've told them that maybe you're spiritual or religious or intuitive or psychic or something like that or they just feel that you are but you're not you know off in the clouds somewhere you're very grounded they're seeing you making moves in the 3d as well um we have water and fire so we could have all water signs all fire signs but also i feel um pisces energy for some reason okay what else the chariot in reverse we have cancer here okay they could be overwhelmed in their life in general they could be saying what stops me making a move here given how much i'm obviously drawn to you is that i have a lot going on and i'm feeling like it's too much for me to get in control of right now by myself um they could have to you know they could be being pulled into very different directions here so maybe a move towards you towards you would mean a move away from um something else like it can't they, they can't maintain both it's got to be either or and it doesn't necessarily mean this is you they have to choose you or someone else it could be but um it could just mean they've got to decide to cut back time at work to make serious time for your connection or they have to lose friends to choose you or um they have to give up fear and choose faith do you know what i mean it, it's there's something here that they're at they've come to a fork in the road and they've got to choose left or right page of cups reverse so they want to talk to you they would love to send you a message um maybe even someone here is owed an apology i also feel um the energy of the death card so they might be wanting you to know they've been through some kind of transformation and it might have been quite difficult um so they may have, have discovered something they want to share with you and now we do have this um king of cups here so they're saying look my feelings for you they just grow they just get more intense we've gone from the knight of cups straight to the king of cups so they understand that how they feel about you is lasting it's consistent everything else around them could be stormy and i kind of feel to some degree it is but they're saying how i feel about you remains the same and I think their thoughts of you, fantasies, daydreams, provide them a degree of solace here and comfort when everything around them is, is overwhelming and feels bigger than them. Knight of Pentacles reverse, so Taurus energy here. For me, um, this, this person is very focused on you, very sort of fixated. And I don't think they have any intention of pulling back or trying to disconnect or trying to see you in a different way if they are watching you you know maybe they you see each other in person or they watch you online or something like that i think they continue they, they plan to continue doing that um i do think you're on you're up on a pedestal here uh not to say you know it's not warranted but they certainly do look up to you and um and right now i'm seeing that's absolutely fine by them you know they, they're happy to do this they want to continue to admire you to think about you to have this deep love for you yeah ace of pentacles in reverse your person is very serious about you but they are saying i need you to know that if i was to come forward and offer this this pentacle here which in my mind would eventually lead to the ten of pentacles i have to leave something else ten of swords in reverse and even if it's something they want to leave behind it won't be easy it could be like i said if they have to leave behind fear it feels risky doesn't it to have faith to hope because the more you hope the more disappointed you could potentially be and maybe they're changing the way they think and they have always thought so that could take time maybe they have to leave behind a partner a spouse a family that they're not in love with anymore but other people would you know get tangled in the mix or your person would have to deal with everyone's shock or they might lose some money or a home you know there is there is something that would be difficult here for them to um or difficult about them making you this offer 
They want you to know though that you, you do already, already this connection has brought them so much, even if nothing more was to ever happen, which is not what they want, but if it wasn't, they're saying, you've brought me hope, there's been a renewal, I'm seeing things in ways I've never even considered them before, I would never even, it would never have occurred to me, you know, about love, about you, about the world in general. Oh wow, look at this, we have the Empress in reverse, so Taurus, Libra energy, but um, your person, again, we have no Emperor, but we have the Empress, so they do look up to you, they almost feel like you're too good for them, but it's not like in, in like, a, oh, woe is me, you're too good for me, it's like, ooh, you don't even know how amazing you are, well, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to point this out because, you know, then you might go off and um, and find someone else. But I am, um, you know, I'm thrilled if someone like you is interested in someone like me. So I don't mean they're not going to tell you as in they're going to try and, and show you that they don't care about you or value you. It's almost like, wow, um, I kind of don't want you to, to realise that I'm not good enough to be with you because I love that we have this connection. Um, I think you see them for who they are. So obviously, if you had already decided that maybe they weren't on your level, you would have moved on, you, you wouldn't be interested. So I think your person maybe has a bit of a distorted perception here of your connection or of themselves and how they appear. Or maybe maybe sort of um, they're seeing how they see themselves is how they think you might see them. But I think you hold them in higher regard than they, they hold themselves. Okay, the Hermit in reverse, Virgo on the back. So there's an acknowledgement here and acknowledgement from your person that the fact that they have not been offering you a cup of love an opportunity here or something grounded something tangible even in you know if they have it's not been consistent they're saying i understand how this has impacted you i know how it looks i know that it looks like i don't value you as much as i do i know that um there is the potential here for so much abundance that it feels like it hasn't it, had the room to to show itself this connection hasn't been given the space to flourish in the way it could have it feels almost unfinished it feels like there's lots of potential here um so your person is i do feel they're in love with you you know king of cups um i think you are in some kind of a way you're part of your person's daily routine in the 3d so i don't know if it's like every morning they wake up and check your social media or they keep up through mutual friends with what's going on in your life or before they go to bed they think of you or they send you some thoughts that they hope you pick up on or they set the intention to dream about you but there's some physical practical way in which your person actually involves you in their daily life that I think you may not be aware of here and as far as they're concerned that's all good they don't plan to change that I do see a lack of action um which for you I imagine is you know annoying frustrating especially when they see you as this queen of wands empress um it's they do think about taking action. They know exactly what they would like to do. But as I said, it's going to be yes or no, either or, left or right. And I think they're hesitating. Let's have more of a look at this. Okay, so Ace of Pentacles reversed with the Chariot in reverse, please. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. Do you see what I mean? It's it's got to be one or the other. It's I stay in this situation that's around me, that time, money, energy, effort has been invested into, or Ace of Pentacles, I just start all over again. I have a whole new beginning. It, whatever this is, it, it cannot align with your connection with your person. Um, yeah, so they have to choose one or the other. Um, and I feel if it came down to just how they feel, what they want, it would be a no-brainer. But with that Ten of Swords that we saw earlier, um, something about making the, the move towards you would be difficult, painful. Perhaps not painful for them, but maybe painful for someone they care about, like a child or something like that. Um, so that's where your person is in terms of movement, action needing to decide 
yeah, look, King of Wands on the back. So the King of Wands wants to take action, but this person's holding themselves back. They also feel that in terms of desire, passion, want, the feelings are mutual and equal. So they want you to know that because I think it's um, not always obvious to you given how they show up or maybe don't show up sometimes, especially in the 3D, in, in a physical sense, in your connection. Okay, so um, let's move on to our messages decks. So I do have links in the description box for um, this deck and this one here, if you are interested in them. They're not mine, I didn't create them, but I was sent them um, by the creators. Okay, so what messages please? What other messages does my viewers person have for them at this time? I'm hearing a rice cake, <laughs> but like as in a pet name, like someone calls someone else rice cake. I don't know. Let me know if that's really specific. Okay, so messages, please. I'm not talking to you because I tend to sabotage myself and don't want to hurt you. I'm working on healing, believing and becoming more confident in myself so I can open up to this caliber of love. Okay. I do think there's a need for more confidence here. Um, it's wonderful that they see you as the empress, but it would be even better if they also saw themselves as the emperor. I feel like you don't know who I really am, exactly. I'm catfishing you, but I've fallen in love with you, so I'm to the point I know I need to tell you my true identity, and I'm dreading you won't love me once you know. Okay, I mean, for some of you, of course, if this is online and you've never seen them, you've only been talking through sort of um, like typing, texting, that sort of thing, and anytime you say, let's video chat, they don't want to. This could literally be someone who's saying, I have been catfishing you, so be careful there. For most of you, I think this ties into your person's self-esteem. They might be saying, look, I've been wearing a mask. I've been, you know, giving it large over here, pretending I'm this, that, you know, everything in a bag of chips. And this point that they found themselves at is them saying, do I keep on the mask and, you know, let you believe everything you've been investing in? Or do I show you the reality of who I am? It's got to be either or. But they're really, um, you know, the sort of sad thing here is, is that I don't think it is a mask that they're wearing. I just think your person is having trouble seeing that they are who, you know, they are the image that they have been projecting. So for many of you, it's not that they actually really have been catfishing you, it's that they're scared, I think, to um, to be truly authentic, even though they really have been being, if you, if you know what I mean, and you, you know who they are anyway. I miss you so much, my heart aches, I cry too, I just can't reach out just yet until my situation has cleared up a bit um no i think of you all the time yeah they do and want you in my life asap asap okay so they absolutely think of you all the time and i do think you're part of their daily routine um i know if i continue to ignore you i could lose you um, you'll hear from me within a relatively short time. I think of you and want you just as much as you want me, trust me. So two messages back to back saying that they think of you. I, oh, I hate myself right now. I can't very well accept your love when I can't love myself, but I'm working on it. When it comes to special occasions, I'm like a deer in headlights. I'm afraid to get involved and do something to screw us up or go down a rabbit hole I'm not ready for. I'm sorry, I can't. So that feels specifically if there was an occasion coming up and you thought maybe you would hear from your person or you expected them to also um, come to this occasion, but they, they ended up not and you sort of felt really hurt by this. I'm in the middle of a legal matter I feel would be affected by me contacting you or would affect you adversely to get involved with. I'll reach out when I feel it's okay to do so. Okay, and I actually think, again, for some of you, the Ten of Pentacles versus the Ace, eight of pen, ace of Pentacles, Ten versus Ace, um, it could bring up something legal, like maybe a divorce or, um, 
sorting out finances or something like that that could be one of the stresses on your person especially if they're saying it's not only the emotional toll that, that would take on me but financially I, I would have to pay for this as well and maybe they just don't have the money right now or something like that what's on the back if you haven't been this card cracks me up so much <laughs> if you haven't been with someone in quotes in a long time you may want to get your body ready for a change just saying wink okay so they you know right back to that queen of um wands energy they are definitely attracted to you and like i said very much enjoying that they have no intention of stopping those daydreams and fantasies okay so this deck um we have red cards we have blue cards the original intention is that the red is from uh, the masculine energy here and the blue is from the feminine so um i'm going to read all of them as being from your person but feel free to you know align with whichever resonates with you Okay, I was taught that I had to earn love by pleasing people. Mm. So to some degree, your person's been performing, putting on an act. You know, maybe they've put pressure on themselves. So they feel that every time they see you or talk to you, they have to be performing. Whereas you're saying, well, you don't. You, can, you, can you please just be yourself, you know, um, and take some of that pressure off? Um, they keep saying you're coming back, but you're not here yet. So are you coming back? <laughs> Okay, so um, maybe, let's say for example, you moved away from your person and you have friends in common family and they keep expecting you to show up or to come around, but you're not. They're definitely looking out for you. Um, or maybe you've just pulled away from this connection for whatever reason, temporarily, permanently, and your person's saying, I can't feel you energetically. Are you coming back? Or I haven't seen you. Are you coming around? You are much more attractive to me when you are empowered rather than when you're insecure. So um, I think this is just them saying, I see you being very empowered. And you know what I was saying about someone's personality potentially increasing or decreasing their physical attractiveness? Your person saying, you were attractive anyway, but the way you're showing up is really doubling that for me. Tripling. Okay, um, when you left me, I felt like it was because you did not think I was good enough. So again, some, some self-esteem um, issues potentially, having a slightly skewed perspective of things. Um, it's sometimes hard to keep the faith when you are taking so long to commit. Wow, what a slap in the face. I think <laughs> that is most likely probably the energy of you guys towards your person. But you know, hey, if you know it's the other way, take it that way. Um, I loved you more than I loved myself. Then I realised I didn't love myself. Yeah, we already had a message, didn't we, saying um, it's difficult for them to accept your love or to show you love. I can't remember which it was when they struggled to love themselves. Um, okay. Why do you stay when they treat you so badly? So if you have um, a partner who is not this person, then um, this person that you're asking about has decided for themselves that you deserve better. So maybe you also believe this. Maybe they're just saying, I'm the best choice for you. You know, it could be a bit of jealousy there. You may very well be thinking this about your person if they have a third party. Um, I'm sorry for the mind games I played. I know it was wrong. Gosh, okay. P probably part of them wearing this mask or feeling like they needed to be a certain way to hold the interest of someone like you, you know, someone they think is maybe um, too good for them. Okay, so let's finish up with these messages here. So final messages, please, Spirit, from this person, from my viewer. You know, I feel guided to do an extended today, which is probably a bad idea because I was short on time anyway, um, but I don't know, I feel it, so I'll do it. So I'll put the link in the description box. If you have any problems with it, please do email me. You can contact me through my website. Okay, final messages, please, from this person to my viewer. Let's see. Mistakes, I wish I could write my wrongs. 
So, so many mistakes here as far as your person's concerned, you know, being an authentic, not taking a leap of faith with you when they could have, even now, this delay, they feel like this is a mistake, they don't want to lose you, mind games they're apologising for, neglected, yep, I failed to give you what you need, inseparable, our love is always there despite the distance, yeah, I mean, and they're really actually feeding into it right now because it's like, well, I don't know, the amount they think of you and whatever this physical thing is they're doing every day, oh, could be something um, not PG, potentially. Um, it, it, they're giving energy to this connection, you know, they, they are investing in it in some, in some way. So, um, you know, yeah, for them, you, you're definitely connected. Guilty, I feel pain from the damage I have caused. And I also think they're saying I would feel guilty um, or I, I feel guilty ahead of time thinking about the potential for the damage I could cause in walking away from this Ten of Pentacles if, as I said, it's a situation that involves family, maybe it's their parents or if they have children. So that won't be for all of you. But um, <clears throat> I do feel here they're projecting forward and saying I would feel guilty. self-love I am still trying to heal and part of this self-love could be saying I deserve to be happy as well yes I want to keep everyone else happy around me but um I can't just live like a martyr you know I have to make myself happy as well we have ego which says I let my pride get in the way of our connection also ego could be you know negative self-talk fears I try to keep myself safe rather than taking a risk um, and unappreciated I felt like you didn't care hmm. definitely don't see how that could be for all of you values we have too many differences okay so um, that could be between you you know especially if this is um, like a twin flame connection where there could be many differences that you have to overcome um, and I did have that message earlier about how you've opened up their perspective and they're seeing things in ways they wouldn't even have considered before. I also feel with, you know, with it being under this guilty card, there could be someone in, in your person's life or people who have a particular set of values who wouldn't think it's appropriate for your person to be with you. So again, it's most likely to be um, siblings, parents, um, you know, maybe their own children but more likely people who they who have set an example for them you know because that that dynamic is more difficult to shift if you're used to someone else being in a position of some kind of power it's hard to harder to put your foot down and say well actually I'm going to do something entirely different that you might not feel comfortable with um, so for some of you it could be other people's values and expectations that your person is um, trying to juggle or deal with unsatisfied is on the back I wasn't happy um, I wasn't happy the way things were going. I wasn't happy with the way things were going, perhaps. Um, I think they're unsatisfied now, to be honest, because they want to be with you, but there does seem to be some distance. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here for this part. I do feel um, pushed to do an extended, like I said. So if you're not joining me, I hope this has helped and hopefully I'll see you again. If you are joining me um, for the extended, the link will be below. But otherwise, um, thank you so much for watching and take care. Bye.